Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel Engelbarts. If you are new here, I'm so glad you made it here. If you are not new, thank you for returning and watching more of my videos. It just makes me feel so good that I have this position to be able to potentially motivate you guys to clean and do a bunch of other things in the process too. These types of videos I didn't really know existed until recently and I got hooked on them because when I watch these types of videos particularly, I get extremely motivated to clean. There are many projects around the house that I don't particularly enjoy doing and deep cleaning is one of them. It's sort of satisfying in a way, but at the same time, it can be so daunting that I just get paralyzed and don't want to do it. Especially like you're gonna see the stove was an absolute disaster and I was putting it off for a long time and finally I'm like, I just gotta do this. But watching a video like this of somebody deep cleaning is incredibly motivating if you have something that you need to do as well. So I hope you really enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up. It just helps my channel grow and I would really, really appreciate it. And let's jump right into it and get started. So to start off this video, I am doing a deep clean of my duvet and cover. So I'm just removing my duvet from the duvet cover here and I'm going to clean them each individually. You guys are going to have to bear with me and my voice today because we are all fighting a head cold. So I, I take the duvet cover off and then I spot clean it with spray and wash and you know we change Eloise's diaper on our bed frequently and the kids jump up there with grimy fingers so I'm just going around the whole duvet and spraying anything that looks gross. And then I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in the washer. I always wash my whites with OxyClean that I put directly in the drum. The duvet itself is dry clean only, but I just do like a steam refresh, which is a setting on my washer. And I put some wool balls in instead of dryer sheets, which I put some lemon essential oil on and it just makes everything smell nice and fresh. About once a month I gather up everybody's pillows and I take them out of the pillowcases and I also do that steam refresh. You could also just throw them in the dryer at high heat and maybe put like a wet wash rag in there for the steam effect. And that just helps get all of the allergens and things out of our pillows. Again, with the essential oils, I'm just adding lavender to everybody's pillow because it is shown to help people sleep and relax, so essential oils for the win. Side note, I have researched essential oils exhaustively and I've settled on Rocky Mountain Oil Company as my favorite company to order essential oils from. I do have an affiliate link. You can pay no extra to order your essential oils from Rocky Mountain Oil Company, but I will make a small commission. So if you haven't noticed, we are on the porch now. This is the next area of our house that really, really needs a deep clean. You can see it's just caked up with bugs and stuff everywhere. We have not cleaned it since we did our home addition, adding Eloise's nursery. So it just really needs a good cleaning. It's dusty and buggy and the twins play out there a lot. So I just want it to be nice and clean. So I didn't have a really great plan to execute this cleaning. I thought it would vacuum a lot better than it did. Obviously the vacuum is not getting much of what's out here. So I had to kind of change up my strategy as I cleaned a few times as you will see.
In hindsight, I think this is hilarious that I thought this was actually going to work, trying to scrub these spots with a broom while holding a baby. So finally I came at it with the hose. I just used the hose that we had hooked up in the backyard. I really would have done better if I power washed it. It would have made a much bigger difference and it would have been a lot easier, but that would have required moving all of the furniture and everything off of the porch. And I just didn't really want to do that. So I just sprayed what I could and tried to keep everything else dry and that did a decent job. Strategy change again. I wasn't having much luck with the water running off of the porch, so I went ahead and got like our wet, dry shop back and finished up the job with that. Strategy change 476. I lost interest and just sent the robot vacuum to finish the job. <laughs> And then I just went ahead and wiped down all of the surfaces with an all-purpose cleaner, and that was extremely satisfying. Let me know in the comments, do you guys have an outdoor space that you like to use or sit at and does it get totally caked up with stuff all the time? If so, is it clean or dirty right now and did this maybe motivate you to go wipe it down if you haven't already? I hope so. I cannot believe I'm showing you this. Look at this. It is so bad. I've been cooking so much since we've been home and Brad just cleaned this about a month ago and look at it. It is horrendous. I could not wait another day to do this. So I'm gonna start by just soaking all of the these topper thingies in here while I go ahead and get started on the grimy stuff. And I'm going with a homemade cleaner of just baking soda, some warm water, and then lemon essential oil to make it smell nice and fresh. I really thought I needed the abrasiveness of the baking soda, and so that really helped get that caked on stuff off of there. But let me know in the comments what your favorite cleaners are for your stovetop. I'm always looking for new cleaning supplies and solutions that work better.
Is anyone wondering why I didn't take the tops off of these gas burner things? It's probably because I didn't know they came off until I was almost done. Knowing how much we used this, I was not going for perfection, but vast improvement. Success! So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, just go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It just really supports my channel. I have a lot of fun videos coming up for you. I am enjoying the heck out of this channel. I hope you are too. And drop a comment below and let me know which of my videos has been your favorite so far. Which type of video? Do you like the what I eat in a day? Do you like the cleaning videos? organization. I'm going to be doing some like party planning for Eloise's first birthday. I'm planning on doing the twins bedrooms when they change to their big boy and big girl beds, kind of revamping their rooms and picking a theme for them. So a lot of fun videos coming up and just let me know what types of videos you like to see so I know what content to put out for you. Thank you again for watching and we will see you next time.